Hi, this is Tyler with FluidityStudio.com, and today I'll be going over my brand new WordPress plugin called FS Music Albums. And what this allows you to do is if you're a musician or artist and you want to upload your music to your WordPress site and display it in a nice orderly fashion, then this is the plugin for you. What you see here is an example of what the plugin looks like on the front end once you add a music album. You'll have your album cover art, like a CD behind it, and your title, it'll, uh, your artist, the year the album was released, and then if you want to sell your music, then you can have a buy now button. And then uh, you can also display your songs listed in order and have pause and play buttons. Play another one. And once you start one and stop it and go to another one, then it starts um, back from the beginning. But you can pause and play, and if you were to you know, play, play and pause one, and you start again, play, it'll continue off where it left off unless you click on another one. So, and then over here on the right-hand side, there's a widget that also was included. And it will list the album cover with the title and the year of the album's release. And um, just gives you a nice, nice display. So let's get into uh, once you purchase the the plugin and install it, how you how you do that. So I've, I've got a local WordPress installation here, and once you down purchase the uh, plugin, download it, then you're going to go to plugins, add new, and then you want to go to upload, browse for the file, and there it is, and then install it. And then once you activate it, you'll see two other options appear. So one will appear right here in the left side, it says music albums. And the other one that appears says purchase albums. There's two parts to this plugin. One is for uploading your uh, albums in a full music album in a zip file that you can give um, for purchase. And then your music albums section here is where you'll actually set up your albums. So the first thing we want to do is go to music albums, go to settings. And then you have your options for your button colors. Default is dark gray, but you have gray. You have a light gray, uh, black, and white. And then this is your background color for the widget title, which is this area here. So by default, it's this um, darker gray, 2C, 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 which is the same color as these buttons here. And you can change that information here. Now, if you need help picking a color, and you don't know about color codes, you can click here and it will take you to a color code picker and you can just kind of select you know what you want and then copy that code and paste it in here. But no matter what you do, you're gonna to have to hit save settings. So if you're okay with this by default, then just you're gonna to have to hit save settings so it, it uh, chooses a style. Otherwise, nothing's gonna look like this. It's all gonna to run together. This will be down below. So you have to choose a style setting. So I'm going to hit Save Settings. I'm just going to leave it at the default right now. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my Music Albums section and add a music album. And then you'll see here you can enter an album title, upload your music, the artist, the year is released, and um, enable song download if you want to do that, if you give your music away for free. And then this, these two will go over later though. And then you upload your album cover art and make sure that the image you upload is 238 pixels by 238 pixels in size. So let's just start it. Paste in my the title of uh, a friend of mine, her album Anomalous. And I'm going to upload music. And you can, once this uh, comes up, you can drag and drop files or you can select them from the computer. I've got another window open over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab these songs and drag them over and it'll start crunching them and I'll come back when it's almost done. Okay, so it's getting hung up there. There we go. Almost done. And then once it's complete, you'll hit save all changes. And then you'll be kicked over to the gallery for this post. And then I don't know if depends on what you um, have your song titles as 
but these are already titled with 01, you know, 02 on up through 12 because I ripped them from her CD. And uh, what you want to do is, if they are already numbered, then you can easily just order them by ascending or descending. And in this case, it's going to be descending from top to bottom because the first one's at the bottom. Now, if they weren't numbered and they're all over the place, then you can just kind of drag these where you want them to be, um, starting with the main one being, you know, at the top or the bottom, just so long as the numbers here proceed correctly. And then another thing you want to do is make sure you clean your titles up because on the front end, it's already going to name, it's already going to number your songs one through whatever, however amount you have. So you want to clean up the titles. If the titles are all run together, make sure you have spaces in and punctuation, all that stuff. And so you can just kind of see I'm just removing the, the numbers from the songs. And I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that with the rest of them. And I'll come back to you when I'm at the last one. Okay, I'm at the last one here. Clean that title up. And then I want to hit Save All Changes. And then I can exit out. And I'm going to put in the artist here now, Cami Bradley. And I don't know what year the album was released, so I'm just going to put in the year 2010. And I'm going to upload the album cover. And again, drag or drop, drag and drop or select files from the computer. I'm going to drag and drop it on there. And then the, not, the last thing you want to make sure you do is once that image uploads, you want to hit Use as Featured Image and then you can exit out. So now you can see it displays it there and this is 238 by 238 in pixels. And I'm going to add a category. I like to do albums. You can title, uh, do a category, whatever you want. And then I'm going to hit publish. Okay, now once that's done, I'm going to go back to my music albums list. And you can see there's a short code right here. So I'm going to grab that short code, and you can paste this in any post or page. Now what I like to do is have a page that um, I update the latest short code ID on, and then I have the widget that displays the rest of them. That way it's just one page and then the others, it, it'll instantly go to the um, post for that particular album. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my default post page that comes with the WordPress installation, the Hello World post. Okay, I'm going to select all of that and paste it over it and hit update. And then I can go to the front end and refresh. And I should see the album instead of that default text. There we go. So it's listed nice and neat. The songs play. Okay, now I want to look at the uh, widget area. So we're going to go back, go to Appearances, go to Widgets. And I'm going to drag the Music Album widget over to my main sidebar. And you can enter a title in here if you want to, but by default it says Also Available. So if you enter another a title in here, then it will change that. I like Also Available, so I'm just going to leave it. Come back to the front end and refresh. And then you see it also available. And it shows the album art and the title and the year it was released. And this will actually link to the individual post for that album if you wanted to, you know, do that. But I like displaying them just like this. And like I said, I would have a page that would have the latest album short code entered, and then the sidebar would display the rest. And uh, it makes it just a lot easier to have it all in one place. Um, and let's look at the next option. If you were to give away your music for free, if you're that type of artist, then we'll go back to our music albums, click our album we created, and we'll check Enable Song Downloads, and hit Update. Okay, we go back to the front end and refresh, and you'll see a download option next to File here. So now each one of these songs is available for download. If I click on one, you'll see that was Sit Back, and now that's Sit Back. And I can download it if I want to. 
Okay, now the next option is uh, album making album available for purchase. So if we go down to purchase albums, you'll see all these default settings and there's explanations for each one of them, pretty self-explanatory. Your email notifications will go to whatever and uh, here's your default wording for the successful purchase through PayPal and it will send them a link to download the file and then how many days it's set um, available for download and it will scroll down to the next option and that's selecting a button now if you leave this it's gonna have this standard look like this for a buy now button or you can have a PayPal button or you can select one of these two CS3 style options which I like because it it uh, opens up and shows the price and everything it just looks a little more fancy I'm gonna choose the gray one you can even upload your own if you like and then there's terms and conditions if you have that you can type something in there for terms and conditions and then of course you put your PayPal this is just a dummy um, email but you would put your PayPal email in here and hit update settings so what I'm gonna do is I need to put an actual real address in here because that's not right I'm gonna put my email update okay and now I want to go to add a file and then you would put your title in here of your album and if you had files that were already uploaded you can select from those we don't have any so I'm gonna choose browse and I'm going to grab the zip file that I've already made of all the music files and of course uh, just a side note if you are going to sell your music then I wouldn't I would recommend not uploading the full versions of your songs you want to upload a, a song that you know kind of fades out after a period of time so that you're not giving away your music because someone's smart enough they can view the source on your site and grab the songs so you wouldn't want to upload your full-length versions if you're trying to sell them so I'm gonna enter just 12 bucks here and then available copies you leave zero if you don't have a limited amount and of course it's digital so you don't really have that problem and I'll license Earl if you want to I'm gonna hit submit details it's gonna upload the zip file and once it does that kick me over to the files location area okay now you'll see the title and the name of the zip file that was uploaded and the album downloads short code with the ID of one the first one's always gonna be one it's going to list your price and then if there's a legend over here to show you what all these are and of course there's mouse over tool tips as well you can edit the pricing you know um, all that good stuff delete it but what we want to know is what the ID number is for this particular one so this is one now I can go over to my music albums area edit my music album and if I put the ID of one in here and hit update then the option will appear on the front end to purchase the album so if I refresh there'll be a purchase link right here or the purchase button that we set up okay so buy now twelve dollars and if I was to click on that it will kick me over to a PayPal page with the title of the album the price and of course you know if they don't have a PayPal account they can just enter their card information if they have one then they can do it this way and then once they purchase it it will kick them back to the site and they will also get an email with that default information to purchase or to sorry to download the file that they paid for and then of course if we go back to the settings the default on the a limited time the limited time that they give to download the file is two days so you can change that to one which I would rather do so that they can't keep passing around and for two days people can be uploading or downloading the file so I would limit that to one day and update your settings that way that link is only available for that one day and then uh, 
that's pretty much it. Now, if you go back to your transactions in your purchase album section, it'll show all the transactions that were paid for and uh, show the payer and the amount, the status and everything, whether it was completed. Um, if they're a verified user, then it will show completed. If they're not a verified user, then um, they're not going to be able to download the link and you'll have to make sure that payment goes through and then you can actually generate a link. You can come in here and do temporary links and you can add a new link and generate one and email that to them instead. Uh, but if they're verified, which most PayPal people are, then uh, they'll get they'll get a, a link in their email with the link to download the file that they purchased. And I believe that's pretty much it. Let's go over one more thing. Let's do our settings. Just to show you that we can change the buttons, let's do the light gray color. Now, of course, I want to go back from this PayPal stuff. And if I refresh this page, you'll see the buttons all change to a light gray. And uh, let's see, let's also do, let's go back, change it to dark gray, and then we'll change this background to, let's see, let's pick another color, just to show you that it, it does it. I don't care, this is a hot, like a pink. We'll update that. back to this refresh and this background will be that god-awful bright pink color but that's changeable um, and let's just to show you let's go back to our let's see oh we want to go to our widgets area I'll change my title here to say more albums hit save And I can go back to the front end, and that will change to say more albums. So you can change your title there if you choose to do that. But anyway, that's that's pretty much it. Displays everything nice and neat for you. Um, one thing I didn't check, of course, if you're purchasing your albums, not that this is a big deal right now, but if you're wanting to sell your albums, then of course, you don't want a download option available. I'm going to get rid of that. That's actually more effective in selling it. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. And if you find this plugin useful, then I would go and purchase it. And the plugin is fully supported, so there will be updates. It is um, once you download the plugin and install it, if there is updates made to it to uh, fix any problems, any errors, or make it better, then you will always get a notification to update that through your admin and uh, you'll keep get the latest version of the plugin. So thank you for tuning in, and I hope this helps you. Bye.